and the year is 1066, and the Viking Age finally comes to a close with the Battle of Hastings. But in their nearly 300 years of existence, the Vikings left a considerable impact on Europe. Today we're going to be discussing the impact that the Vikings had, and how it is still seen today. The three main areas we're going to be talking about today are language, culture, and lifestyle. The Vikings often traveled and were keen to colonize new areas and expand their lands. As a result, this expansion had a lasting influence across the language in Northern Europe and Britain. These changes developed over hundreds of years and many aspects of it can still be seen today. And the impact of the Vikings on language is names. For example, town names that end in the suffix by. For example, Thornby, Crosby, Selby and Whitby. In the Old Norse language, by meant town, so it was often added to the end of town names. These towns were originally settled by Vikings and mixed with locals into what they are today. This can also be seen in the surnames. Some examples of this include McLaughlin, Doyle, Higgins and Tawny. These are all surnames that have Scandinavian heritage, which can be attributed to the Vikings. It wasn't just names that transferred from Viking language into local languages, it's also whole words. Many modern English words come from the Viking language, Old Norse, such as scarf, sick, and many more. These words crossed the language barrier because it was quintessential to trade and relations that the two sides could communicate. Once these words made their way into everyday speech, they were there for good. Evidence for Old Norse and Viking Age England is found in 19 inscriptions of Scandinavian runes from England. Half of these are short Old Norse texts that can tell us about contexts in which Old Norse was used. But unfortunately, they can't tell us how many people spoke Old Norse in Viking Age England. That quote by Eleanor Rye not only gives us evidence of the Viking impact through individual words, but also raises the point and in some places, local language was forgotten in favor of Old Norse. The main time this happened is in Iceland. Prior to Viking arrival in Iceland, there was a small Scottish and Irish population. However, their original culture and language was completely forgotten. The language was so forgotten that it was once thought the island was uninhabited prior to Viking arrival. However, Christian Aronson and his group found a Christian cross rock carving, which predates Vikings in Iceland and proves it was inhabited before. A need for easier trade and communication led to adoption of certain terms and whole languages. These impacts are still incredibly present in names and words all over Europe. Vikings were always pagan and worshipped the Norse god Odin. However, to increase their wealth, they had to trade with the Christians. The challenge for the Vikings was that the Christians were only allowed to trade with other Christians. To adapt, the Vikings Adopt, started to adopt an Anglican religion, which led to the Viking culture and Anglican religion becoming to mix. Viking religion and Christianity mixed in and around Viking settlements. The two religions traded myths, figures, and ideals in order to bring the two religions closer together. This change happened in a lot of ways subconsciously. Simply as Vikings and Christians were interacting, they shared their religious beliefs and customs, leading to a gradual inclusion of parts of the other religion. On screen is a coin from York around Viking times, which shows both pagan and Christian myths and design techniques. Only myths and customs mixed, but also traditions. Traditions mixed even more naturally than the rest of religion because of a desire to celebrate together. As these traditions mixed, they quickly became shared festivals that were half of each religion. An excellent example of this is Christmas, and many of the traditions around it. Though the main morals and story of Christmas is Christian, many modern traditions like Santa Claus, Christmas trees, and more have Viking origin. Vikings and Christianity didn't just mix. In fact, by the end of the Viking Age, Vikings had become completely Christian. The Viking motivations for turning Christian weren't one of divine intention, but very calculated, to improve trade and relations. This is because there was a Christian law prohibiting trade with pagans, and despite the Vikings' best efforts, there was no other way to get around that. After a while, the Vikings thought it easier to simply become Christian as a way of solving this problem. Turning to Christianity was also evoked by the growing number of Vikings living in settlements who had adopted Christian beliefs. While Vikings living in the homeland had their minds changed by an outpour of missionaries that came to Scandinavia to promote Christianity.
Through the century-long Viking control of Europe, the two cultures shared ideas forming the modern Christianity and the traditions we know today. Vikings were incredibly innovative, and the sharing of their groundbreaking ideas with Europe changed what was possible. Everything from the comb, to swords, to modern ships had been inherited from the Vikings. When these inventions entered Europe, the impact was drastic. One of the most influential Viking inventions was their weaponry. The Vikings created extremely sophisticated weaponry, which changed the landscape of Europe in the way that any advancement in warfare does. Viking weaponry was so revolutionary because of its material, it usually being made out of new metals. For example, Viking swords were pattern welded, which is when wrought iron and mild steel are twisted and forged together to form a strong construction. Later swords were also made out of homogeneous steel, which was again revolutionary for its time. These weapons are so much better because they stay sharp, which allows for longer battle, these weapons also don't bend or break easily. New weapons allowed for battles to be continuous without worrying of sword's sharpness mid-battle. New weapons also created a disadvantage for militaries, which didn't pose them altering the fate of battle, which in turn affects countries themselves. A second Viking invention that was revolutionary was the longboat. This boat was a long, light, square-sailed ship that was used for battle. This invention had the same impact as advancements in weaponry. It led to unfair balance toward those who had the technology and generally boosted the effectiveness of war, which affects everyday people through higher losses in wars, wars won and lost because of this technology, and paved the way for future inventions which lead to the modern day. Vikings had cutting edge inventions that made or broke countries based on who knew how to use them. The inventions changed the face of Europe through allowing more advanced warfare, everyday life, and innovation to come. Vikings expanded their territory looking for riches and trade. However, in the process, they permanently altered the history of Europe by spreading their language, culture, and technology. Their legacy will be remembered for years to come as the profound impact they had is permanent.